Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of classifying shapes in solids. This is standard 3.6a in the great state of Texas and we are using number 30 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause this video, work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it and we will look at our answers together. So we have some shapes here. We've got five shapes, and we're going to use this term shapes because typically these are referred to two-dimensional plane shapes or figures. When we're looking at solids, typically that's going to be our 3D shapes or 3D figures, such so as cubes and cones and whatnot. So we need to classify these as either triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagons, hexagons. Those are our options here. And so let's see if we can identify these shapes. Uh, we're going to be looking at three different things, but here's the nice thing about these shapes. All of these are exactly the same. So when we're looking at sides of a shape, we're looking at these flat parts that connect. And so these are sides, and so this particular uh, shape has five sides. But we can also look at vertices. Now vertices is the plural form of vertex. So if you've got one, it's a vertex. If you've got more than one, it's not vertexes. It's vertices. It's just a strange part of the English language. Those are corners. So let's see how many corners we have. One, two, three, four, five. So also five vertices. And then the last thing we'll be looking at are the angles. Now the angles are formed at a, at a vertex. And so this is an angle right here. It's the opening between two sides. So you can actually measure this angle. You do a whole lot of that in fourth grade. Um, fourth grade has a lot to do with angles. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So guess what? Either way you count it, this particular shape has got five sides, five vertices, and five angles. So they are always going to be the same like that when you're dealing with two-dimensional shapes. Three-dimensional solids, the numbers are going to be all different, and you don't necessarily use all of those same attributes. So a five-sided shape is called a pentagon. So we need to remember that. And it's this prefix, pent. Pent means five. So that is a pentagon. So the other one shouldn't take nearly as long. We've got Let's count our vertices. One, two, three, four. So this is going to be, actually, it looks like it's a rhombus. So a rhombus is a parallelogram that's got four equal sides. It's like a square, but slanted. But the larger term that we can use for this is a quadrilateral. That's a huge word. But a quadrilateral is a big term that simply means four. So pent means five. Quad is a prefix that means four. So any four-sided shape is going to be called a quadrilateral square, rhombus, rectangle, parallelogram. Those are all quadrilaterals. That's the big one. This one's fairly easy. Let's check our sides. So that's going to be a three-sided shape. So that's a triangle. And most of us know by now that the prefix tri, T-R-I, means three. And so we have over here a square. And that's pretty easy. But you notice square doesn't show up down here. We need to classify it by its largest group. And it is also going to be a quadrilateral because it's got four sides, four vertices, four angles. So a square is a special type of quadrilateral, just like a rhombus is a special type of quadrilateral. And then finally, we have a trapezoid. Now, a trapezoid is a quadrilateral that has only one set of parallel lines. So this top and this bottom, those are parallel. But it is also a quadrilateral because it's got four sides. So I've got one triangle, check. I've got three quadrilaterals, one, two, three, check. In one pentagon. Yeah, so it looks like F is going to be it. Uh, G and H it doesn't work. There's no hexagon. And I've only got one pentagon, so they do not work, and my answer is F.